Our first video was a bell video. It was a decommissioned chlorine tank. This one is a carbon dioxide liquefied non-flammable gas tank. So we're gonna make a bell out of this one. Oh, there we go. All right. Now let's go over to the uh, to the lathe. Since the last bell video, I've since modified the roll-in system. Uh, before we used what were they? Walmart shopping cart wheels that I'm not even sure where I ended up with these, but put roller blade wheels inside a three-quarter inch plywood frame and I decided to put it on the lathe, made a little oak block to go as the to fit on the groove on the bottom. This system right here seems to work pretty much with any size bell, any size cylinder. The big ones, little ones. Yeah. The what are they, four and a half foot chlorine cylinders mm -hmm. down to the um, why don't you grab one of the small cylinders and show them the little aluminum nitrogen cylinders? That'll work pretty darn well. Yeah. Alright. So, we have a high tech five gallon bucket lid to act as a barrier. Okay. So, it basically just rubs up against the plastic, doesn't hurt nothing. It's yeah. all good. Go ahead. Okay, the bell has cut through, and you can see it's pretty thick. It's actually a lot thinner than I thought it was going to be. Ooh. I would say the surgery was a success. So let's see what this one sounds like. Ooh. Okay, we've got the two pieces of this cylinder here. I'm about to take a uh, sanding disc to it and get all the paint and get it nice and shiny for the next step. So, I'm here too. He's here too. We've got the uh, bell. We went ahead and put it on a chain. We basically just crimped this chain to where it fit through the opening and then put a ring on it because we do like it. And now we're going to do some prettying it up. And prettying it up. Prettying it up, yes. We're going to heat the metal to where it changes colors. We're going to go for a gold and a blue color and we're going to try to keep a lot of the silver. If it gets too much blue, we can heat it up and it'll go back to silver. So, go ahead, Caleb. Well, I think that's good. I think so too. Okay, at this point, it's really, really hot. Uh, we need to let it cool down before we put a finish on it. Um, we, we, this will allow us to put it on. This is uh, Rust-Oleum Clear Enamel. Uh, it says we can put it on at anything under 200 degrees, but we like to do it when it's kind of cool to the touch. Mm -hmm. Also, if you do this, don't touch the outside. Uh, you'll get what's called rust blooms, and it won't look pretty after that. So. Not only that, but you can rub off this. Uh, Sometimes you can rub the finish. Yeah, the finish. Okay. We'll be back in a little bit after it cools. It's now cooled down to the touch, all over. I'm touching on the inside so I don't mess up the outside. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a, put a coat of vanilla on it. Alrighty. Now we'll put a few more coats of this on and then this part will be done. Alright, we have got a little piece of cedar that we have round it off and a hole cut into it, just the size of the chain. I'm gonna slip it on and attempt to use a pair of channel locks to just expand the chain length right below where we want it to sit. And we'll see, I may not be able to do this at all. Uh, Squeeze it. Nope, I don't think so. That, that definitely didn't work. 
All right, we'll try again at the vise. We have the chain off and I have the proper, the one we need to squish right here. I'm just gonna stick it in to the vise. Squish it a little bit more. And there we go. Don't wanna break it. It's on there nice and good. And now to put it all on the bell and it'll be good. Okay, I just kind of cut an abstract shape. Um, I left it kind of thick. If I was using oak or black walnut, I would probably have gone a lot, a lot thinner than this. Uh, but this, this wood has some beautiful spalting in it. So uh, I'm gonna get this sanded up and drill a hole in it and go from there. Okay, so I've made a makeshift D-link out of one of the uh, chain links. So I'm gonna take it, place on the flag like so, and then we're gonna crimp it down so that it makes contact inside of this hole. So where do we want it to hang? Um, Is that low? Yeah, it looks pretty good. There we go. Yay, success. All right. Good bolt cutters are key to all chain work. All right, loop this through. All right, let's verify before we crimp it, because once we crimp it, it will not come off. Well, it will, but it's a lot of work. I think that looks good. Okay. Perfect. All right. <clears throat> and done. Ta-da. That does a work of art. That is like a little piece of heaven. <laughs> <laughs>